In Hungary, opposition groups have accused Prime Minister Viktor Orban of trying to stifle dissent. As part of the COVID-19 lockdown, all public gatherings in the country have been banned, which critics say is harmful for freedom of expression. Adam Maiga reports from Budapest. One of the latest changes in Hungary to be announced by right-wing leader Viktor Orban was that gatherings are temporarily banned. It follows the extension of the state of emergency. This means that the government temporarily cancelled the freedom of expression of political thought. Though there are quite a lot of topics that people would like to discuss now, I think. The decision follows student protests against what they call a takeover of a top arts university by the government. According to the Hungarian Helsinki Committee, it wasn't necessary to stop all gatherings. The co-chair says the law is discriminatory. For example, you're still allowed to gather for religious purposes, even indoors. The freedom of religion is a basic right, like the freedom to assemble and the freedom of expression. So there's a difference, which is really hard to justify. It meant that the student protests for the freedom of the University of Theatre had to stop. It doesn't mean that we stopped protesting because none of our demands were fulfilled, none of them. So we physically left the university, but we brought the resistance with us to our homes and we will try to continue this online. Students hope they can go back to the university they occupied for 71 days, but right now it's impossible. There were many protests here in front of the main building of the university. But from now on, everyone who is willing to participate in a demonstration will have to pay a huge fine. Adam Magyar for Euronews, Budapest.